Hey, what's going on guys? How's everyone doing today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Welcome to another episode of The Body Beatdown with me, Michael. Today, we're gonna focus on the Smith Machine. Now, if you recall, I uploaded a video a couple days back, uh, just showing a quick little, uh, you know, uh, exercise, just me using the Smith Machine, just a, a couple quick little clips. Well, today we're gonna talk about uh, using the Smith Machine and kind of the different angles that you can stand and uh, put your feet in and uh, get different feelings from the different positions. Uh, today is my leg day. <laughs> uh, oh, anyway, I do look forward to it. I do like leg day, oddly enough. I'm one of the weird guys. I don't like arm day. Mainly because my arms kill me. I got a problem there. But right now we're going to start off with some uh, squats on the Smith machine and we're just going to kind of talk about uh, my feet and the position of my body. So let's get that going guys. Okay, if you notice here, I'm getting under the bar and you're gonna see me kind of shuffle my feet around. And what that does is that gets you prepared to get your body and everything kind of in alignment and makes things uh, feel right. You're, you're gonna know uh, once you get into position where you feel best at. And uh, you'll notice my rack moved right there. Typically I have some uh, two big dumbbells sitting on the back to hold it down. Yeah, you're gonna notice, uh, if you watch my feet a lot, you're gonna notice that they shuffle and kind of move around just a bit. And that is getting your body in proportion and in alignment correctly with how you're lifting. And that's one good thing about uh, being on a Smith machine is you get that opportunity, I think, more than just using a regular rack. So let's move on. All right, as you've seen there, I had pretty much a normal, typical stance that you might do uh, on a Smith machine. Now, Smith machine and complete, complete free weight squats are a little different. You know, they can vary a little bit. So, my feet were about right here, about in that position right there. And uh, the angle of my body will show in the next clip, okay? Because I'm going to do the exact same stance that I had there. Okay, now I did go up uh, 50 pounds in weight, but that's not really going to have an effect on anything here on my stance and what I'm going to show you. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that. And also I changed the, the view of my... Uh, lens so it's showing a little bit wider view so we can get a little bit more in there. So All right, let's go ahead and get the second set done and uh, we'll talk about that. Okay. All right, we're getting into position You'll notice I'm in the exact same position as I was in the first set. Look how straight up. I'm standing my feet were shuffling We're getting into position. We're gonna lift the bar Up we're unlatching it and we're gonna head down nice and smooth. You're gonna notice my feet move just a bit throughout a couple of the reps and that's your body getting itself in proper alignment and where it needs to be and that's one good thing about the Smith machine is it allows you to adjust a little bit easier in my opinion than doing complete free weight squats and uh, I have uh, done my share of free weight squats and I can say that I do like Smith machine better so let's move on to the next one all right so what you'll notice there well number one what you're going to notice is i put my hands on my legs uh i have a really bad back so even on the smith machine uh, i have to take precautions and my arms my hands uh, on my legs give me more stability what we're going to do this time is when i get under the bar i'm going to move my feet out just a little bit from me 
instead of having them under me I'm gonna move them out just a hair and we're gonna work a little bit more of those hamstrings and the glutes and uh, get a nice little workout from there I'm gonna stick with the same weights that I have on here I believe it's 140 uh, and that doesn't include the whole bar in the carriage and all so let's uh, take a look at how these look with the feet just a little bit forward okay again we're getting under the rack you're gonna see getting into position uh, notice how my feet are going quite a bit farther up uh, the camera angle is a little difficult to see it is hard to film yourself sometimes uh, and get uh, the views that you really want but you can definitely tell that my feet are up probably a good probably inch and a half which makes a world of difference with this type of a move and I'm seriously feeling that in my hands and my glutes right there and hey we all want to have nice hands and glutes to go along with those quads so remember to adjust your feet and uh, get, a, get a different workout every time that you do a set there we go so let's move on to the next set guys all right we got that set done now as any as any of you out there know if you've ever done any of your own videos it's kind of hard to do these kind of things on your own and kind of get the information across that you're trying to get across but just to understand that the first uh, couple sets that you've seen me do my body was more in a neutral position with my feet closer into me okay this set here I moved my feet out just ever so slightly and when you come down you're really working those hams and the glutes and it's a totally different feeling and just make sure that you're comfortable when doing that and you're set properly uh, that's like I said that's one good thing about a Smith machine is it just allows you a little bit of versatility and uh, comfort and safety uh, for your squats and uh, so I'm really glad that I have mine and uh, we'll take another uh, couple of couple of looks at some different uh, feet, uh, feet widths that we can do and uh, we'll go from there guys so stick around oh and we're gonna go up and wait I'm gonna go up to oh 180 we'll go up to 180 how about that so stick around All right, with this one here, we're gonna get up under the bar and you're gonna notice that I'm gonna take a hey, little bit wider go stance wider on, this on this one. one. And for me, this one here, and depending on where you place your feet, whether underneath you or further out, you know, in front of you, uh, but for me, this one seems to really hit maybe the inside of the legs a little bit more. And it just uh, it gives you a totally different feel uh, so like I said it's good to use different positions whenever you're doing some exercises because you're gonna work different muscles and get things differently and uh, you're not gonna surprise yourself and find something uh, that you didn't do right in there so let's move on to the next one guys okay oh so for this set i'm going up a little bit more i am going to go up to 210 which you might look at that and think that's not very heavy and well it's not real heavy i don't go real heavy and i'm lucky to be able to do anything so you also got to add in like i said the weight of the bar and the whole uh carriage that uh glides on the guide rods and that so granted not exceptionally heavy but perfectly good okay all right 
So this one here, I'm gonna go with my feet a little bit further in than normal. Like I said, a lot of times I like to keep my feet about shoulder width apart, somewhere in that area. This time I'm gonna go just a tad bit closer and it's gonna hit just a little bit different. So we're gonna try and get uh, a view of that, okay? So stick with me. All right, notice here that my feet are definitely in more narrow. They are in my shoulders. Instead of being more aligned with my shoulders, I, it's definitely a more narrow stance. And we go up nice and easy. We make sure everything feels right. And we adjust our feet accordingly. Our body starts to adjust accordingly. And you get such a different feel each and every time you adjust your feet or your stance, your position, everything. Totally different feel. Let's get that big old heavy weight back up there and latched if I can get it. All right, guys, that's it. Now, let's discuss a few things. So there you have it, guys. Now, I know uh, getting the idea is a little bit difficult. Like I said, when shooting this stuff by yourself, I do have a couple of different cameras and I just don't use them sometimes. But I hope you enjoyed that last shot where I'm kind of giving you two different views. Now the camera uh, lenses themselves are gonna skew things a little different because this camera is set up a little different than my other camera that I used for the feet. So, but you get the idea, okay? Uh, and that right there was near my limit as far as weight goes and as far as what I wanna put on my back as of right now in my journey. So just remember, uh, although your typical rack and half rack and uh, uh, different uh, stands and squat stands and all that kind of stuff, even though they're uh, kind of what a lot of people go for, don't be scared uh, to go for a Smith machine, okay? Because uh, this has allowed me, let me move the camera a little bit. This has allowed me to start safely implementing squats again into my life. So, uh, and this is my first uh, Smith machine I've had. Just know that again, when you get under the bar, make sure just like with a normal free cage, uh, you get your feet adjusted, make sure your back is adjusted in there properly and everything's nice and structured correct. And uh, you're ready for the weight load. Don't just go in there and flop the weight up and get going. You gotta be prepared for that weight, and that's no matter what machine you're using. Uh, just know that also, angling your feet outward further, or uh, more parallel, or maybe back just a hair, can change uh, the way that the muscle's being hit completely, and different muscles within the muscle, and fibers, and all kind of stuff. Know that when you have a basic stance, maybe shoulder width, you can also go a tad bit wider. You can also go a lot more narrow, okay? How do you like that? I need a little action figure so I can do these things. But anyway, I still have a lot more to go with my leg day. I just wanted to show you a little bit on the squat machine and go into uh, some of its uh, pros because there's very little cons about a Smith machine. Uh, so anyway, I got a lot more to do, like I said, so I got to get on it and I still got supper to cook. I got my second walk of the day to do and I may spin and get on the bike uh, for my second time today. So I do a lot, still got to cook and everything. And I might even try to shower, I don't know. Whew. Guys, I hope you appreciate the video. I tried to give you something a little in depth, a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, showing you a little bit of something here and I uh, hope you like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff to the Body Beatdown. Uh, let's build a good community here, guys, and uh, be all positive and help one another. No matter if it's with something like this or diet or just uh, giving somebody a good pep talk or even opening up if you have a problem in life uh, that affects your life, uh, feel free to open up in here. Hit me up on Facebook under Michael Thorne, M-I-C-H-A-E-L-T-H-O-R-N-E. You're gonna see my banner, my picture and all that. And you'll know it's me. Also, The Body Beatdown is on Twitter, so you can look me up on there. 
Uh, and while you're at it, guys, why don't you uh, take a look at these shirts here? These shirts mean a lot to me. Uh, they have my saying, this is my logo, this is all something that uh, I've created and that I love and I have a passion for. And uh, I'm beating the odds uh, one day at a time. And you can too, guys. And uh, these shirts mean a lot. So what do they mean and what do they stand for? Well, you're seeing it here today. Get up, get out, get rad, do it to it. And yes, I ramble on like a crazy old cackling woman on the phone. Cackly, cackly, cack. <sighs> Talking about her stories that she just watched on TV. Whew. Stories, I tell you. Guys, we'll see you later on the body beat down. Now, get out there and do them legs. Get up, get out, get ran, and do it, do it!